Hi guys, <coughs> so oh, let me just turn that down a bit. Is that better? There we go. So what you can see here is um, my sort of sketches for how the uh, the road layout works. You just sort of see me program that. Um, what I'll go through is exactly how that works. So the first thing we're doing is creating a navigation path. This uses the same navigation, um, uh, Bezier curve navigation stuff that the uh, uh, the spaceships use in the space layer. Uh, and so basically the first thing that happens is we'd use A star to work out how we get from the first building to the second building, right? Uh, and that gives us going from this point to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as the purple line, right? The next thing we're doing is creating a Bezier spline between each of these points. Um, I'm not actually skipping corners at the moment. Um, I might update that, but at the moment it looks like it's doing okay. So it basically creates Bezier splines along the purple line, right? So the start and end points are these one, uh, the purple one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. Then it goes through and smooths them. So what it does is it applies uh, the handles. If I zoom in here, so what we've got is it will create. So that's our, our line there, if I just throw that up in blue. Uh, oops. Green even, it's easier to see, right? So, say we've created this, uh, that's two Bezier split segments, one here and one here. When this, the smoothing operation, how that works is it, oops, uh, from one and half of the distance from the other and smooths them along, basically a bit like that. And the way it's calculating that is it takes, oops, it takes a line like that between start and end, and then drags out these points to be parallel to this line here. And that gets us our curve around the corner. Uh, and then it does that for everything along that line. So that gets us a nice smooth Bezier path. The next thing we're doing is here, we're then creating the mesh. So we take a point on the path, we go left of it and create a point, we go right of it and create a point, so that 90 degrees, uh, so perpendicular to the, uh, to the path and create points and we're doing that by going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the number in the uh, in the red numbers. So there are vertices and then they're like the black dots. Then we're creating for each every four vertices we're creating a pair of triangles and that goes one, two, three, and then it goes uh, two, three, four to create two uh, triangles here. And it does that for everything along the line. So that's our mesh. Then you can see in the, the blue here, we're setting the uh, the UVs for the texture. And uh, basically it takes, that's the texture that we've got. That's where the road is going down the middle of the texture. Uh, the top right is zero, zero, and then uh, one, zero, one, one, and uh, zero, one. And it then maps those onto this point. So basically what it does is it takes this, uh, if I just grab that, it will take this and map it on like so, kind of like that, right? And it does that for each of these sets of triangles. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, in Photoshop, uh, oh, no, that's not the right one. You can see I've got the road layers. These are basically um, an alpha texture, so it's got uh, a, see, a clear background. I think I've got a purple thing here to make it a bit. So that's that's kind of what it looks like there with uh, with the roadway. I've also got the dirt road here, which is pretty much the same, like that. Uh, and then in the game itself, if we run the game, you can kind of see it in action. So if I create a colony hub, plops that on the ground. There are a few little graphical errors here where I was messing around with the way the buildings construct. I need to fix that. Uh, if I then create a commercial district here, 
you can see it fades in the, the road and what that's done is it's actually ended up with like a pretty much straight road. Uh, as you can see it's slightly raised above the terrain which I need to fix. Um, so what I'll be doing for that is um, raycasting down onto the terrain for each one of those vertices to make sure it pins these vertices just above the terrain. And yeah, that's that. Uh, you can see we've got like a bit of lighting problems. Uh, my ambient lighting is now s is set up, so uh, the um, at the moment my day night cycle you can s uh, you can't see you can see up here the day night cycle is basically just uh, rotating the light. I've got a directional light, and it's just spinning that directional light around like that. That is going to change, so it'll have all the different like day night colors based on the planet uh, that you're on, or um, you know, if the planet doesn't have an atmosphere, it will just be like straight sunlight color. Uh, and then the final thing we've got here is the vehicles, uh, and basically they spawn at each uh, at the moment at just one end of the thing on a random. This is a co-routine running in the background, and it just moves the vehicles along the road. And you can see I've got this uh, this luminosity cookie here, which is like the headlights and the brake lights of the vehicles. Um, move along and the vehicles are just a uh, uh, just a couple of little cubes mushed mesh together same as everything else so yeah the what I need to do next is as I said get the um, use the terrain collider to basically pin the vertices to the terrain rather than having them in a straight line but yeah that's, that's basically where we're at uh, that will probably be quite a long video so I might put this at the beginning rather than at the end um, and then do a fast forward. So actually, yeah, let's let's do a fast forward now. So uh, go.
cool guys thanks for watching that video um, this is uh, more colony layer development I'm hoping that in the next couple of days it is now the 30th uh, sorry the 31st uh, I will have been trying to get the, uh, the the builds out to the test team at the end of each month I didn't do one for the new year so we kind of missed a month uh, what I want to do is just do a little bit more polishing up on the the way the road layout works uh, get the vehicles going both directions and uh, yeah and then I'll get a build out to the test team and uh, hopefully get some feedback on it. Uh, what's coming up next? I need to get all of the, uh, the hard-coded data for the buildings into a database file. Um, and then the big one is getting this layer integrated into the space layer so that from space you can zoom all the way down to a colony, you can deploy a colony landing ship to land on a, an object and then generate a colony from that. Uh, that's going to be a, a quite an interesting challenge. The, the other thing I need to do is uh, I need to make a terrain shader that will uh, basically take in the uh, different like texture types for um, the objects in the game, so whether you're on an asteroid or on Mars or whatever, um, and then build up uh, a nice layered terrain. Um, I'll probably do another video on how I've generated the terrain. I'm currently using um, Unity's terrain, op uh, like terrain generator. I think that might be a little bit um, overkill and a little bit clumsy maybe for what I actually needed to do so I might end up generating my own meshes uh, based on the height map that's uh, I have a, um, <coughs> a terrain generator script here and what that's doing is I have uh, a get value uh, and that's just using the mathf Perl and noise to generate that and then I'm pa uh, doing it out by the power of five so that you end up with like little mountains uh, with lots of low um, low space so yeah lots of flat land with little peaks uh, this is going to change depending on what sort of like biome you are on so in uh, say on Mars you'll have like desert plains canyon land mesas all that sort of stuff if you're on like Europa you'll have um, you know mountainous areas uh, uh, bits of like ice fields with uh, the, the the random craze canyons and stuff on them so yeah there's a little bit more to do with that um, and uh, so over the next month or so I'll be implementing that next main task is after after cleaning up this and getting it off to the testers is getting it into the space layer uh, which is probably going to be a headache it's going to be really interesting and fun to do uh, and then it's going to kind of start coming together with a. It's a game. It's it's you got all of the all of the major features of the game. You've got like the space travel. You've got the, the colony building all in one thing. So yeah, it's getting really exciting. I was I was really really happy with how everything was working, particularly with the roads. Um, that was something that I, I first came up like the the way the colonies gradually grow with sprawl and roads connecting buildings that sort of thing was an idea I came up with about eight years ago um, in a sketchbook and I've never actually implemented it and it, I, <laughs> I got it working like very very roughly the other night and I, I was like really 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 chuffed about that. Um, that that was a brilliant feeling for finally taking something that's been a, a, like a vision for so long and getting it into, into Unity and actually in a running game was great. So yeah thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions stick them in the comments or get me on Facebook uh, if you want to join the group, join the group. If you want to send me a friend request, please do. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Rock on. Bye.